With the turn of a key in the small hole in the table's side, the top mechanically slides back and the drawer below opens, revealing lidded compartments and a book rest. This mechanical table was made specifically for Madame de Pompadour, who conquered the heart of the French king, Louis XV. Jean-Francois Eubin, the cabinet maker, absolutely catered to her taste. There's not a straight line to be seen. The soft curves, it's almost like the curves of the human body. She was elevated to the rank of nobility. The little turrets at the top of the legs were the charges of her coat of arms. The marquetry reflects all the different pastimes. She was an amazing patron of the art. You see the palette referring to painting, the rolled up sheet of music, architectural tools and a drawing, and then a whole host of gardening tools. It is abundance of naturalistic flowers, referring to her love of beautiful gardens. Urban chose different woods, ebony, holly, the Barbary wood to depict daffodils or sunflowers. They would uh, use dyes to enhance the colors. You can find some of the green color. The table is completely framed in gilt bronze. Nothing is securely known about his training. He was in Paris by about 1740, from 1749 he lived in the Faubourg Saint Antoine. During 1751 to 1754 he worked as compagnon at the workshop of Charles Joseph Boulle, son of the great ebeniste of Louis XIV, André Charles Boulle, and then independently in premises in the galleries of the Louvre sublet to him by Boulle. From 1754 he was granted premises, at first at the Manufacture des Gablons, then, in 1756, in workshops and lodgings at the Arsenal.